G'day guys. So I'm in Eastland Shopping Centre again here and I thought I'd give you a tour of the one of our two main supermarkets, the Woolworths Supermarket. So we have Woolworths and Coles, they're the two big supermarkets here in Australia. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour. I saw a guy just did a video on Malaysian supermarket and uh, it was very popular so I thought yeah why not I'll give you a tour of an Australian supermarket. You can see the prices. Also I think it's really good. It's the 27th of June today so $1.50 for avocados is very cheap. But uh, yeah 27th of June so it's big fears about Inflation not coming down, it's going up, so it'll be good to look back on this video in the future and just see the prices, see how much things have gone up. But we have got a pretty good uh, amount of fresh food here. You can see it all looks very good quality. <coughs> now you've got your bakery section over here. So they bake all this bread here. cakes and things like this, biscuits, but we're in the fresh fruit part obviously. Carrots there, oranges. Tomatoes. Cucumbers. They're big tomatoes those ones. Looks pretty good. Pineapples, four dollars fifty. I know in Asia you can get them much cheaper than that. Avocados again. <coughs> Onions, four fifty a kilo. 3.30 for brushed potatoes, white washed potatoes, $4.50 a kilo. Sweet potato there. And we've got some other ones here that are already sort of packaged up. Capsicum, they've got the different coloured capsicums there. Green, yellow and red. And you've got bags of potatoes over here too. Ginger. $27 a kilo for the ginger. How does that compare with your country if you're not from Australia? If you're from the US or the UK, how does that compare? And you've got your bags of nuts here. Lots of different bags of nuts. Walnuts, I've got to get a packet of these for mum. She wanted some more walnuts, so I better get those. Now eggs, there's definitely going to be a shortage of eggs in Melbourne, Victoria, because we've had a Pretty big outbreak of the bird flu. So they've had to cull. I think it's close to a million chooks now. It's been going on for uh, probably a month or two. So they'll be definitely having to ration some of those, some of the eggs. So this is the uh, plant-based meat here. This is proper meat. Wagyu beef burgers there, $12. 
extra lean meatballs. How does those prices compare with, uh, with your country if you're not from Australia? This is the specials end. So this is all the crumbs, schnitzels, you can see there. <clears throat> you got your minced beef over this side. That's just a regular minced beef. That's lamb, mince up the top there. Chicken mince. Extra lean pork mince, $7 for 500 grams. Pork and beef mince. Extra lean beef mince, 500 grams. $10 for 500 grams. So I know that's gone up a fair bit over the last couple of years. Extra lean diced beef, there you go. Got all these sort of packaged pasta salad and cold slaw, things like that. And these are the, uh, you know, the packaged meals. Cottage pie, lamb shepherd's pie. You've got some uh, beef lasagna down the bottom there, that big beef lasagna for 13 bucks. Buttered chicken. Spinach and ricotta cannelloni. I actually like that one, it's quite good. Two for $14, so that's gone up. They used to be sort of $5 each not too long ago. So they've gone up in price. Some seafood over here, Tasmanian salmon. And they've got some cheeses over here. Look at that. Product of France, $95 a kilo. You have to be pretty keen on cheese for that. Even these cheeses are pretty expensive, $78 a kilo, $45 a kilo, $70 a kilo.
all the different margarines here. Come into the yogurts. Quite a big variety of all the yogurts. And then on this side, it's uh, you got a lot of the juices, lots of orange juice, all the different types of juices. Then you've got your packaged meat here. So you've got your ham and your pepperoni and salami. Different types of packaged meats. You've got your bacon here. And then your dips. There are all your dips. <coughs> and your packaged cheese like your cheese slices and things like that for sandwiches and <coughs> got lots of those as well. This is the health food aisle. Health food cereal down there. gluten-free stuff. There's lots of gluten-free biscuits and things you can get now. A lot more than you used to be able to get. So these are chips and they're you know, healthier chips. They're brown rice chips and so we're still in the health food aisle. So all these snacks are healthier than the regular type chips. You've got all your juices there. Heaps of juices, you've got your spreads. Got your Australia's favourite here, Vegemite. I actually like uh, Promite, I like that one. That's really nice. But Vegemite's uh, iconic Australian one. We've got some honey here. <coughs> got your wraps there different types of wraps and then you've got your bread, packaged bread. <coughs> so there's lots of different types of bread here. So traditional wholemeal there on special for $4.90. Again, that's gone up a fair bit over the last couple of years. So I've got some more cheeses here. All the different types of cheeses and dips and things. Back to the deli section. All the different types of olives. Hey mate. Some seafood. different types of milks here. There's an ad on Australian TV at the moment where a guy walks up to the counter and he says, I want a carton of milk. And the lady serving him reels off about 10 different types of milks, got low fat and lactose free and 
A2 and all these different types. It's quite a good ad and the guy just says, uh, I just want milk that tastes like milk. So it's, uh, it's very good. All right, so we're up to the biscuit aisle. A lot of different biscuits. Chocolate biscuits. Yeah, lots of different biscuits. We love our biscuits in Australia. These ones are the more sort of savoury type biscuits down this end. Some corn type biscuits. Now these are the gluten free biscuits. Again for the gluten free people. These are rapidly expanding. So you've got your mint slices there and you've got your Tim Tams over here. And even the Scotch Fingers there. So they're all gluten free. And Milo down the bottom there, drinking chocolate. And you've got all your coffees. Again, we love coffee in Australia. So we're big coffee drinkers, especially in Melbourne. We have a lot of cafes in Melbourne. But lots of people have got coffee machines at home as well. So these are all the different types of coffee. You can buy the big bags there of the beans and grind them up at home. Or you can buy the instant. Or these ones are the, the pods. So if you've got a little coffee machine at home that take pods, these are all the different pods. So there's lots of different coffee. Also, we've got uh, lots of different types of teas. You can see all the different teas there. There's green tea down the bottom. Different flavoured tea, English breakfast, French Earl Grey, lemon green tea, peppermint tea. So lots of different teas there. Now these are some of the long life milks. So I've got an issue with lactose, so I have the lactose free milk. So these are the different types of lactose free milk, the Zimmel. And uh, Woolworths has even got their own brand down the bottom here. So they're the cheapest. It's only $1.60 for a litre of the Woolworths brand. And if you want to get the uh, other brand, Zimmel, it's $3. So big difference in price. You got your oat milk, almond milk, soy will be somewhere. There it is, soy. Soy milk, and you get light soy milk and organic soy. And you've got your old uh, different breakfast cereals. You can see them here, a lot of different ones. I won't go right through these, but there's heaps of different cereals that you can have. And then down here is your, uh, like your muesli. These are meant to be a bit healthier. And the porridge down here, or <coughs> two minute noodles. I've been having these lately with a bit of honey, they're good. Then uh, you've got your uh, soft drinks, soft drink aisle. It's a pretty massive aisle, this one. Got water here too. It's all the bottled water. I remember the first year I went over to Europe, 1982. I went over to Europe and people were drinking water out of a bottle and I could not believe it because we had no bottled water in Australia back when I left in 1982. You just go to the tap and you drink it. Now bottled water is huge. I remember hearing some figures about it, uh, saying how much bottled water we have. And our water from the tap in Melbourne is so good and fresh and healthy. Uh, you've got Coke here, you can see. 
Not sure how this compares with where you are in the world, but you can see the prices there, $2.30. Over here you've got all the chocolate. Lots of different types of chocolate. M&M's, Darrell Lee, Cadbury, I'd say are the biggest chocolate producers in Australia. And you've got your box of chocolates here and the bags of lollies. There are all the lollies. So that tonic water and soda water and those types of drinks. Canned vegetables there. Now you've got your fish, your tunas, and I'm sure there'll be salmon here as well. The canned fish, a lot of people eat that. <coughs> this is all your uh, cooking oil, like your olive oils. So you can see all the different types there. We've got quite a few. So these are all the uh, normal chips down here. All the sauces, again we love tomato sauce in Australia on our pies. A lot of people like them on chips as well. And Mexican food. So I like these hard and soft up here. You can see there, it's saying special $10.90. Now sometimes you can pick those up for about $5. And they used to be $5 all the time, but they've gone up a lot in the last, so two years. And then on this side, you've got all the pasta. The pasta's still pretty cheap. Buy that pack there for a dollar. So, and you move down here, got all the Asian food. So, noodles. Next to all the pasta, you've got your pasta sauce. Again, the pasta sauce has gone up a bit. Regular price now for these Legos, $4.30. So again, you know, they used to be regularly probably $2.50, $3 at the max. You can buy them on special here. So these ones, Dolmio for $2.90, so it's probably worth getting. You know, yeah, Indian food, there's lots of rice on this side. And on this side you've got Indian food, so all the different spices in packets there and jars uh, full of sauce. All the soups here. And uh, spices and things. 
we have got a pretty good selection of all the spices, salt and pepper and so on. Yeah, more soups up there. Baked beans. Spam is an old favourite. Spam. utensils here, pots and pans and all sorts of different things for cooking. Uh, you've got your canned fruit here. These are all your like uh, deodorants and shampoos and all those types of things. Toothpaste. This is all the hair dyes on this side. So these are all the frozen foods. It's all the frozen veggies. Peas and carrots and <coughs> mixed veggies. And chips, potato wedges. Pies there. Pizzas. Now we're coming down into the dessert area, ice creams. All the different ice creams you can get. <coughs> Frozen yogurts there. and meals. Lean <coughs> Prezan, $5.60. So as you can see, we have got a pretty good selection, I think. So we're up to the pet aisle. We love our pets in Australia. Lots of dogs, cats. This is all the, uh, the dog food on this side. And the cat food's on the other side. Four dollars twenty-five a can of dog food. These ones are on special for 245. That's a big difference.
And this aisle's for all your laundry and household detergents and things like that. Okay, that'll do, I think. I'll uh, take you through the self-checkout. Pretty much every supermarket in Australia now has self-checkout. So I'll do that. So there you go, did the uh, self checkout. But hopefully that's going to give you a bit of an idea of the prices, the amount of uh, variety of food we've got in the supermarket, and also the bit of the prices. So see how that compares with your local supermarket where you live. And, uh, and comment below if you think it's expensive or it's not expensive. But uh, prices are going to definitely continue to increase. It was on the news today that uh, it's on the news today that uh, they're worried about inflation again in Australia. So they're talking about increasing the interest rates again because inflation isn't slowing down as much as they'd like to. So we'll see what happens. All right. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. See you, bye.